Hi, my name is Michael from BMEX. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate wireless hard transmitter using BMEX MC6. So BMEX MC6 provides you with a very accurate simulation and measurement of temperature sensors, both RTD and thermocouple. It also provides a loop supply, 24 volts power supply to a uh, transmitter, should you want one. Also, it has got a communicator that's built-in hard communicator with full device description library that enables communication between the MC6 and the um, wireless hard like this one. Um, it's important to remember that wireless hard transmitter needs to be calibrated. It communicates both wirelessly and through screw terminals and for the purpose of today we're going to use the screw terminals. Um, it's been configured to P200 and what we've actually done, we've removed the temperature sensor, we've put some uh, test leads and we're going to attach those test leads and simulate PT100 from the MC6 when we're going to be doing the calibration. So let me show you right now what, we, what we've done here. So this is a wireless um, hard transmitter. We've just remove the cover, remove the battery, and you can right now see that there is a three-wire PT100 here. Now you can also see some communication terminals there. So we're going to use them in a second to communicate with our MC6. So let's, um, let's connect right now those communication um, screw terminals to our MC6. So let's just um, hook up our leads. Okay, it seems to be okay. Right, okay, let's put the lead there and let's put the battery back in its place. So, if we would like to calibrate this transmitter right now and we would want to do a documented and automatic calibration, we would go to uh, document and calibrate. You will see that on the document and calibrate I can actually have got one position um, that it was predefined. You can see this position. It has got uh, an RTD and the hard communication diagrams here. So let us connect the hard communication as is shown on the diagram here at the bottom. And also what we're going to do, we're going to use this test lead now and we're going to um, connect our RTD PT100 as in shown on this picture as well. So you can see right now everything is connected as shown here. Also you can see here that it's five point calibration that we're going to do and it's zero to 100 Celsius degrees as well. So if you just click OK. Let me just talk you quickly through that screen. Um, the top left corner has got a, a PT100 simulation. So this is our input. We can see that the um, that the output is the process variable directly from this transmitter. So you can see that that's that. You can also see the graph and you can see the error limits. Um, these are those blue lines there. So if I click start, um, right now we're going to do five points as I said before. And also you can see that there are um, five second delay in each point. So you can see that the graph is actually going to start emerging right now. And um, MC6 is looking for each uh, individual points. You can see 75 degrees simulation, 75 um, is looking for 75 degrees from this transmitter. So as soon as that finishes the calibration you can see the pass or fail dialogues here. You can see the error limits and error significance. You can also right now choose um, who's done the calibration so you can choose the users or you can start making notes should you want one. You can see the graphs here and also so you can see the numbers behind the graph and at this stage you can actually decide whether you would like to save this calibration or delete it. We obviously, we're obviously going to go in and save this calibration. We're going to save it as found. So let's click OK. If that calibration failed um, for any reason, we can actually start the communication directly from here, directly from that menu, and you can start communicating with this hard transmitter and start trimming if you wanted to. So that's fine. So that calibration right now is saved within the MC6. You can, you can leave it here or you can actually um, send it, upload it to our CMX calibration software if you wanted to. In this short video we showed you how to calibrate wireless hard transmitter using BMX MC6. Thank you so much for watching and for more information please see our other videos.